This is how you achieve peak performance. So bad, it's a little bit dangerous. It's, it's pretty grim out here. And I was thinking about all the times I got second, third, been close in the last year or two. And every time I just wished, I wish I was that little bit better. And so what I've just thought is like, when I wake up and it's the day of this, am I just gonna be weak? Or am I gonna am I gonna lie in bed and be comfortable? Or am I just gonna actually harden up and just get out there and do it? But I am pretty tired today. I think I'll shorten today to be probably two and a half, three hours. All right, Saturday, hard session. Just having breakfast and just learning how to go super fast. Hopefully I'll be doing, doing something like that today. Oh, it's definitely one of those mornings where, um, yeah, the legs are a little bit tired. I'm just a little bit tired. Sometimes you get out on the bike and you feel great. Um, but yeah, quick foam roll, just try to get some life into the legs because Right now, looking at the session I've got planned, I'm like, oh, I don't know about doing that. <laughs> yeah, well, that ain't a good start. All right, well, it's actually my tire sealed from that uh, puncher or a little bit of a near puncher. Um, of course, stay tuned, the slides are great for that. Like, if they don't work, you're in no worse position than we would be with puncher. And if they work, then hey, I'm still riding. Anyway, so today, it's what I call a race prep session, so a couple of reasonably hard efforts at the start. Not full gas, but pretty hard, so it'll be just two climbs, so they're roughly 10 minutes. Aiming for sort of 400, 400 watts, maybe a little bit more if I feel good. Upon waking up, I didn't feel that good. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, so those couple of efforts, then a uh, reasonably long tempo effort. Uh, then right at the back end of the ride, some really hard sort of two, two and a half minute efforts. So as I go through the ride, I'm running through each block, what I'm actually doing. But in general, the principle here is you're doing these pretty hard efforts at the start, which is kind of like a race. A race is often hard at the start. You got this tempo through the middle, which is just that load of the race adding up. And then, when it comes to trying to win the race, you're obviously going to go hard to win the race. And it's while you're under the most fatigue, you've done the most killer jewels of work, things like that. Anyway, just doing my warm up now. Head out to the climb, do these 10-minute efforts. Let's see how it goes. Well, that didn't go to plan. Legs actually came right, surprisingly. Uh, so I was going along, average about 425 to the sort of last, or like the steep bit of my cover, and I was like, yeah, it's going good, feeling pretty good. Then, oh, about a minute into the steep bit, so I realized I was on for a pretty good time, maybe a PB. And that's where things went off plan, and man, I just drilled it. Um, I think I missed my PB, my PB is 8.59. Uh, for those who know the climb, doing that on your own is pretty solid. But yeah, I think I missed that by maybe four seconds or so. <laughs> but I ended up doing 450 watts on the dot, so I'll do some calculations of somewhere, but should be about six and a half watts per kg at the moment, give or take. So I gotta be happy with that. On to the next one. Might try to keep it a bit calmer. <laughs> Second one done, a bit more where I intended uh, for that one. 422 watts, so happy enough with that. Just uh, 
going into it, my legs were just burning still. I actually feel a little bit better after it, to be honest. Uh, yeah, so the reason for those uh, efforts, uh, essentially, like I said, it's the start of a race. It's hard, but the reason it's uh, not just like riding for longer, like you do a couple of hard efforts, sort of burn a match or two, so to speak. Like the commentators' cliche, burn those matches early, accumulate some loads, some work over threshold. Uh, yeah, then that's how you can handle that work in the back end that's important. So, start off doing that. Now, uh, a little bit of riding, just heading back up Mangakawa. Um, and then we'll get into the tempo effort. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be aiming for 330 watts or so, and about 30 minutes. So, the aim of that really is just accumulate load, accumulate kilojoules of work. That doesn't need to be above threshold. That's just about, about accumulating that total workload. So going to those final efforts, pretty fatigued. Luckily the, um, the wind's picking up quite a bit now, it'd be a bloody nice tailwind if I'd left my uh, first manga ref until now. Um, definitely would have, been a, would have been a PB with this tailwind now, but anyway, we, uh, here we are. So I'm four hours deep, about three and a half thousand kilojoules done. The tempo effort went pretty well, it was 341 watts, I'm happy with that. Felt all good, as it should, but um, yeah, now the I've done 50 minutes of structured efforts, four hours total. There's six and a half minutes of efforts to go, but that six and a half minutes is where the, the magic and the, the purpose of the session really lies. Uh, so what I'm doing is two minute effort, five minutes rest. Then the next effort's two and a half minutes with two minutes, uh, pretty hard, followed by 30 seconds, pretty close to a maximal sprint of what I've got left at the end of that first two minutes hard. Uh, another five minutes rest, and then another two minutes. Um, and the reason for that, um, that it's structured like that, is nothing really that scientific. It's just the first one, We'll see what I've got, but I should get through it pretty well because it's the first one, I'll sort of a bit, have a bit left. The next one, um, the first two minutes isn't so hard. Um, then 30 second sprint sort of ramps it up and you get that like, real acceleration after having going hard, but you get through the first two minutes fine because it's not as intense. And the last one's the last one, just guts it out with everything i got left. So I'll explain a bit about the um, physiology or science behind, behind that, or at least my theories on that, but I'm going to go get it done and then after that we'll, uh, we'll go into it. All right, just like that, it's done. No, that was a pretty hard uh, lot of efforts there, but it was good. First one, 5.30 or just under. Second one, not quite so happy with how that one went. Ended up like 4.80 something, so that's the two and a half minute one. Uh, just a little bit under where I'd normally be, but close. Then the last one was good, held on pretty well. It was like 5.17, um, but that's pretty much all I had. So you're talking sort of, what's that, 80 watts down on my uh, all time sort of two minute PV. Uh, so that's having done, yeah, three and a half thousand kilojoules of work first. So I guess if I just go into a little bit of the, the science behind that session, or uh, my theory on that session, which is hopefully based in science. Um, if you think about riding, riding hard for a long time, whatever, you're getting tired, and then you go, at the first level you go, okay, my leg's getting sore and tired. If you break it down one level further than that, which is where most people will stop, they'll say, oh, my glutes are getting tired, or my quads are getting tired, or my BMO's getting tired, or something like this. So if you break it down one level deeper than that though, to the individual muscle fibers, so you've got these groups of muscles, or like a muscle that does a certain function, and then you've got muscle fibers within that muscle group. And so you'll prefer to use some of these fibers before others, or more than others. But that means you're gonna use them first, they'll fatigue. So if you then work really hard at the end of a ride, what you're doing is training the ones that you don't recruit as early, or you don't recruit as often or as much, um, and so you're training them to become better, you're training them to become more fatigue resistant, to be able to do more work. And that's going to help you later in the race, um, yeah, when you're 
your main fibers that you're used to using all the time, uh, they get tired. Yeah, so you can be fresher on the back end of races or be able to do more power at the back end of races. And ultimately, when you're getting close to that finish line and crossing the finish line is when it counts. So that's where you want to be strong. Anyway, that's that session done. Glad all the efforts are over. Still got about 45 minutes spin home. Then jump in a hot bath again. Still doing that heat acclimation. And then endurance ride tomorrow, hopefully with a friend or three. We'll wait and see who we can, uh, who we can link together. Well, you can't win them all. You have a good training day. And then you get stung by bee five minutes from home. And I have quite bad swelling and reactions to them typically. So yeah, I'm gonna look pretty amazing for the next day or two. Munga PB in the morning. Face lift in the afternoon. This is how you achieve peak performance. <laughs> All right, Sunday morning. Got a nice wee beast thing at the end of yesterday's ride, which put a bit of a downer on things, but the other thing is it's absolutely chucking it down this morning, but gonna head out with my mate Lucas anyway, uh, hopefully at least, still time to cancel, but just afraid I um, if I don't get out the door, I'm just not gonna get going, so here we are, 6am, having breakfast, getting ready to ride in pretty heavy rain. Is it sensible? Absolutely not. Alright, lovely morning for it. Just out here to go see, uh, go ride with Lucas. Weather's turning it on, I'm pretty tired. More from the beast thing than the ride yesterday. But uh, hey, we're out here, which is a win. Let's see how it goes and see what we actually end up getting done today. Alright, I made it, I've, I've found a friend. We're about to embark on the rest of our ride. And you may ask, like, why am I out here when it's so bad, potentially a little bit dangerous. It's it's pretty grim out here. And I was thinking about all the times I got second, third, been close in the last year or two. And every time I just wished, I wish I was that little. <laughs> Almost three hours deep, face still looking hot. Got some chips, mother. Luke's got five. Training, going to work. Probably do another hour or so, that'll be it. Alright, I actually got quite a good uh, quite a good ride in there, so just at five hours now, just cruising home. Um, went through patches where yeah, it was pretty grim weather. Went through patches where it was actually not too bad, but like right now, actually quite humid, quite warm, quite nice to be honest. Um, face swelled up a few times, came down a few times, it sort of, well, I say swelled up, but it's obviously already still quite swollen, but it sort of got worse a few times, got better a few times, but anyway, the reason I really wanted to get that in is this is actually one week today until we start to Taiwan, so next Sunday. Um, yeah, it's my last long chance, my last chance to do a long endurance ride for quite a while to be honest. So when I get home, be back to work during the week. And that next weekend is a little local tour, Te Amuru tour, which will be fun, but probably hard to get real big volume in around that. But it will be a good little race head out and it's a lot of fun, so do that. But yeah, and then we're off to tour of Thailand, so this is the last chance to get a nice long endurance ride in that's nice to the zone too, low intensity. So I'm pretty happy to have gotten that done to be honest. When I woke up this morning I was pretty tired, weather was miserable. I wondered if it'd be an easier ride on the trainer or something, so anyway, all good. Looking forward to bringing you the next one, which will be actually the vlog of the race, I think, probably. Tour Taiwan. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> 